Judy Cosby telling ABC's Lindsey Davis on the phone after his release that his conviction did not match the truth. Tonight, his accusers also reacting to the news. He is no longer in prison. And nobody had the sense to say, wait one second. This doesn't match up with the truth. This is not what I was taught in college. This is not what I was taught at home, et cetera, et cetera. Tonight, Bill Cosby talking to ABC News just hours after becoming a free man. His 2018 sex assault conviction overturned by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court after an appeal. Justice is ruling he should not have been prosecuted because of a deal with former DA Bruce Castor that he would not be charged if he agreed to testify in a 2005 civil suit brought by accuser Andrea Constan. Today's ruling stated that in accordance with the advice of his attorneys, Cosby relied on Castor's public announcement he would not be prosecuted. But Castor's successor used Cosby's testimony as a key piece of evidence more than a decade later. Bill Cosby was convicted of drugging and sexually assaulting Constant, serving two of his three to ten year sentence before his release today. Dozens of other women accused Cosby of drugging and sexually assaulting them. Today's news leaving many of his accusers stunned and angry. I'm concerned that women will think that they shouldn't come forward. I can tell you as somebody who did, it was challenging, it was scary. Uh, there were times when I was called horrible names. Today, Cosby's longtime co-star, Felicia Rashad, tweeted support saying, quote, a miscarriage of justice is corrected. She followed that up with another tweet saying she supports survivors of sexual assault and did not intend to be insensitive to, quote, their truth, Judy.